Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you how to create custom waypoints in Minecraft, just like this one. At the bottom of my screen, you will see this pale oak tree going back and forth. And if we turn around, you will see that if we head in this direction, we can see that there is a pale garden here. This is my waypoint for this biome. And more specifically, this mountain right over here. So if you fly around it, you will see that the waypoint always points towards this mountain top right here. And so if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. Now this tutorial will only work on Minecraft Java edition and only in version 1.21.6 or above. So make sure you're in that version, otherwise this may not work. And I'll go through all the steps to actually make the waypoint and also give it this custom image as well. It can be any PNG pretty much. And so the example I'll be showing you in this video is adding a waypoint to this woodland mansion over here so what do we need well first of all we need some sort of entity and i'm choosing to use just an armor stand now you can of course make it invisible using commands or you can just place it down somewhere underground let's actually go over to the entrance of the wooden mansion and then we'll place the armor stand right down here and so first i'll just show you how to add a waypoint to this and then afterwards i'll show you how to add the custom image to it so let's start with basic waypoint usage to do this we will look at the armor stand then make sure that commands are enabled in your world if they are not enable them right here then click start land world now while you're looking at the armor stand you can open up your commands and in here we'll type in the following command and that is the attribute command and we can type in this long string of characters by pressing tab just like this and this is actually the uuid of this armor stand right here and then afterwards we'll type in waypoint transmit range so minecraft colon waypoint transmit range and then we'll type in base set and then we'll set it to a value so this will be the value from how far away you'll able to see the waypoint on your locator bar so let's say we want to see it from 100 blocks away then we just do 100 blocks like this and then press enter now this immediately adds a waypoint to our locator bar at the bottom there. You will see it's currently blue. And if we fly away more than 100 blocks, you will see that this completely disappears. So now we're going further and further away. And now the locator bar completely disappears. And so this is a circular range around the armor stand. And it also works in survival mode. So if we go into survival and then go a little closer to the wooden mansion, you'll see that our XP bar turns into the locator bar and we can see that the blue dot is over here indicating that the wooden mansion is in this direction. So now what if we wanted to change the color because of course blue doesn't really make a lot of sense for a woodland mansion. That is possible. We once again look at the armor stand and now use the waypoint command. So slash waypoint. You can also list all of your waypoints here. So we have two different ones. But what we're here for is waypoint modify. So once again we type in that string of letters and numbers. And then afterwards we have the options for color and style. So color determines the color of the waypoint and style will be able to use when we add the custom image to the waypoint. So let's go for color and we can see that here are the different options. So these are the default Minecraft options along with hex, which you can add a hex color afterwards. So for example, we can set this to this color right over here and this is pretty much the color of dark oak planks. So if you do that, you will see that now we have a nice brown for the wooden mansion that actually looks like the color of the wooden mansion. So now you could just cover this back up just like this and we just have the brown waypoint indicating where our wooden mansion is. And so of course, if we want to extend the range because 100 blocks is not that far, we can do that as well. Just use the previous command and then set this for example to 1000 and now we can actually see that waypoint from 1000 blocks away and so if you just want those colored dots for your waypoints then you're set this is all you need to do now if you do want custom images for your waypoints that is also possible but it will require a resource pack and i'll show you exactly how to create it so the first thing you want to do is head over to your minecraft folder if you don't know where it's located i've already made a video on it link to that is in the top right of your screen but once you're here you can go into resource packs and you're going to create your own resource pack so all you need to do is just create a new folder like this and call it something useful so in my case let's just call it mansion waypoint like this and then in here we're going to create both a new folder and also a file so let's start with the file, do new text document, and this should be pack.mcmeta. We can remove the .text here at the end, and we rename the file extension just like this. So this should make your file a mcmeta file. If it's not doing that, make sure that you go over to view, show, and 
show file name extensions. So you can actually change those. So then you can just open this pack.mc meta file as a text document. And you can copy in the following text. I'll leave this in the description of this video. It basically just tells the game which pack format to use and a little description for your custom resource pack. Now this pack format changes depending on your version. So I will also leave a link down below to a Minecraft wiki page where you can actually check which pack format works for which version. But for 1.21.6, we use 63. So then afterwards, you can save this just like this. And then we have saved our pack.mc meta. Next, we're going to add a folder. And this is going to be called assets, just like this. And here we're going to create a folder called Minecraft. And in Minecraft, we're going to create two folders. One of them is going to be called textures. And the other is called waypoint underscore style like this. Now let's start with waypoint style. And here we're going to create a JSON file. So once again, add a new text document. We'll just call this one mansion.json. It's just depending on whichever waypoint you want to add, you can give it a relevant name. So just like this, yes, we want to change the file extension. And in this folder, we can create one of these files for each one of the waypoints we want to add. So in this example, of course, I'm only adding a single waypoint, we can add as many of them in this folder as you like. Now inside of mansion.json, we will add some text just like this. Once again, I'll leave this in the description of the video. So you can add it from there. And once again, here we add Minecraft mansion to signal that we want to add a mansion PNG to this specific waypoint. So once again, make sure to save this. So now we can go back to our textures folder. In here, we're going to create a folder called GUI like this. In GUI, you want to create a folder called sprites, exactly like this inside of sprites. We create a folder called HUD. HUD and inside of HUD, we're going to create a folder called locator bar dot like this. And finally, inside of locator bar dot, we can add our PNG image. So I've just gotten a PNG of a woodland mansion. There it is. And now we're going to rename this. So it's actually called mansion.png, the exact same as we added in the mansion.json file in the sprites section. So make sure those are the same. And now as you can see, we've added this mansion PNG. And then here you would also add the PNGs of all the other waypoints you want to add. Here we are. Now let's go and open up our options and go to resource packs. Now, if we've done everything correctly, we should be able to scroll down and somewhere see our mansion waypoint with the description custom waypoint style. You can also add an icon for the resource pack if you want, otherwise it'll just be this cobblestone. But we can just click on this and then click on done. And then we can click on done once again and back to the game. Now this has not updated our waypoint just yet because we have to go back to the armor stand and actually give it the correct style. So we do that by once again looking at the armor stand and using the waypoint command. This time waypoint modify the UUID of the armor stand style set. And then in this case we do mansion because that's what we called it and then press enter. And there we go. Now we will see our wooden mansion there on the locator bar. Now currently it's not that clear. And that's because also the color is applied over the icon. So that means that we can set, for example, the color to aqua. And this makes our wooden mansion an aqua color. And so if you don't want this color to affect our icon, what we can do is actually set the color to white. So if we do that, set color to white, you will see that now we have an actual wooded mansion PNG there in our locator bar and it points directly towards the entrance of the woodland mansion, working as a beautiful waypoint in our vanilla Minecraft world with just that single resource pack. And so there we go. That's how to add custom waypoints to your Minecraft worlds. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, then please subscribe.